Night Explorers, The Asylum, is directed by John K. Webster and is currently streaming on most platforms. I watched it on Amazon. Dude, this is like the second Aussie, or excuse me, Australian. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. This is the second one. The second Australian movie I've actually uh, reviewed, man. So first he had talked to me, which I did this past weekend. Now I got this one. And this one's about a group of explorers who go, they make videos about the supernatural and haunted places. Sometimes they stretch the truth a little bit just to get more clicks. But hey, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Whatever works, works, right? Ozzy. <laughs> the, the, the main character just has to be named Ozzy. Anyways, though, he's the man in charge of the crew. Gets a call from another dude who has his own group of explorers and wants them to work together. Because there's this asylum that's going to be demoed pretty soon. And they want to be the last people ever to travel inside this place. And make a big time video about it. And hopefully make a, get a lot of clicks and make some money. All that good stuff, right? This place is huge. So once the groups arrive, they set up shop in this one big room. They, give this, they have this uh, spirit detector called the spirit box. Where they ask if there are any spirits around and basically wait for answers. And also everyone's handed out radios so everybody can keep in contact because they are going to split up into groups and explore the building. First mistake, right? I mean, what's the name of the channel? Don't split up. <laughs> Anyways, during their exploration, the normal strange occurrences happen. You know, you got the little strange noises, blah, 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 this and that, you know. But eventually when the shit pops off though, it's not anything supernatural at all that's watching them. It's homeless devil worshippers after that ass. I mean that too. And they ain't playing around though, dude. They got knives and everything ready to stab a motherfucker up, dude. Got traps around the fucking place and everything, dude. Will there be any survivors? Hmm. I'll be honest with you. It's a pretty decent horror flick. Thing is, the homeless killers weren't really that scary though. I mean... They didn't really like invoke fear, honestly, though. But, you know, the way it was the way they were presented, though. That was a problem. Nothing felt scary about them. Plus, most of the kills weren't really even like na that nasty, though. I would, I'd have to put, you know, they weren't that that over the top, I should say. I mean, and speaking of exploring, though, I wish they had explored more on the devil worshiping part. There was one really good scene that was actually done really well, but not much of a follow up, unfortunately, though. And the thing is, it was so good, it actually maybe wanted more after that. But, you know, it is what it is. Neil Ward is starring in this movie. And I actually enjoyed his actually enjoyed his role. As well as, the, I thought he had the best scene in the movie. Like, oh, my goodness, man, this scene. I highly recommend you watch the film he was in called Feed Me. That dude's performance is what makes that movie. Here's a link to that review so you can check that out as well. Um, so let's see, some good stuff, though. There's one dude, which is Ozzy, the main character, right? This dude in this film, man, he took no prisoners, man, against these... These devil worshiping homeless guys. He he actually fought back and started whooping some ass, dude. And uh, it's kind of a little twist in the film. But one thing I will say, though, about the whole supernatural thing, since there wasn't really any supernatural stuff, I think the fact that there were devil worshippers actually would have actually worked well with the supernatural stuff if they had kind of meshed that in together, but they didn't. So instead, it was just crazy homeless devil worshippers with nothing else really though but i'll say this though it's kind of a cool twist because you think it is supernatural stuff but there's not but i don't know i don't know if i make any sense at all maybe i'm just tripping out but anyways though um one thing i thought was kind of funny though the soundtrack in this movie like the score there are times where the, the music is just very over dramatic it seems that just does, it doesn't even match the scene at all it'd be like i seen someone's walking down the hall it's like dun, 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 dun. you're like what the, um is there anything gonna jump out nothing happens <laughs> kind of funny though but uh yeah it's just very over dramatic music dude where you're just like you, i don't know if it's, sometimes you feel like you're watching maybe lord of the rings or something you know where like some orcs about to come out and like start fighting somebody but it never happens anyways yeah just over dramatic shit but i actually i'll be honest with you, that kind of added character to the movie made me laugh so it was entertaining actually but overall i will be honest with you this is a decent one watch though lots of kills lots of screams decent bloody scenes one really good death scene and it's a really good, it's oh, awesome. That's the best part of the movie, dude. There's a really good death scene. If you watch it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because it's the only really good one in there, though. But it's a quick watch, though. I think it was only about an hour and a half. So, yeah, I'd say you check it out. But I also recommend you watch this oldie but goodie with a kind of similar plot. I'm, pl plot. I'm stretching, honestly, but I just want you to check this movie out because I like it. It's called The Hills Have Eyes. 
1977 version. You got to go OG with this one. On the way to California, a family has the misfortune to their car break down in an area close to the public and inhabited by violent savages ready to attack. It's available on Shudder and Scream Bucks. <laughs> Anyhow, dude, that's all for today. You guys stay nasty, my friends, and I will see you at the next one. Shay Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Like and like subscribe. And subscribe.